Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am super excited. I wasn't planning on filming this, but this is going to be my deck of panning finale and intro for 2023. I say I wasn't planning on filming this, I mean right now, <laughs> because um, the sun is going down, but hopefully my new lighting lamp, it's not a lighting setup. It's just I have a different lamp in here and I hope that it's gonna work if it gets too dark. Anyway, because this video might get long. But um, I just went on YouTube and I saw that Emily and Max just posted the intro and how-to video for Deck of Panning 2023. So I got really excited because I do have to wrap this up. I didn't have time to film my finale last year so I'm just combining the finale of 2022 with the intro so this should be fun. So the game board has been updated for the new year and by the way this project was created by Emily and Max inspired by Books with Maddie. I'll have everything linked below including Emily's um, how to and intro because as the creator of this project she obviously <laughs> explains it best but I think if you're watching this video you probably already know what the deck of panning is anyway so let's just get into it because like I said the sun's going down so let's first wrap up my pro my products from last year so the first one is my drunk elephant umber tint my goal was to use it up and no, I have not reached my goal. So this is what it's looking like now. Honestly, probably looks the same as it did when I last showed this, but I have been using this, so there is less product in here, but it's just the way, you know, this kind of packaging is. I can't squeeze out any more air without the actual product coming out. So, this has long been expired, at least the SPF part of it, but I've been using this as a glowy primer. I've actually been mixing it with another product that I will talk about soon, and I've been liking it that way. Um, so I guess I'm gonna... I don't know. I'm gonna keep this in my everyday makeup drawer, and I do still want to use it up because it's expired. So it's honestly just adding another product to my makeup routine because I'm not using this as my SPF anyway. I'm actually using the Super Goop Glow Screen, which is kind of like the same product, except that one's SPF 40 and I like it better so far. So maybe I can just keep using this mixed in with my primers because it does add like a glowy finish to things. So yeah, let's just say that's what I'm doing with this. Um, so it's kind of theoretically staying in this project, but I'm not going to be counting it anymore. I'm just going to hopefully use it up. The next product is um, something I rolled in for the prompt oldest product. And I think I rolled a random category and I got lipstick. Is that what happened? Or did I just take, I don't know, I don't know anymore. It's been a long time. <laughs> but either way, uh, one of my oldest lipsticks is this from Aveda, the Goji Berry lipstick. I used this one time. <laughs> it is a red lipstick. Um, someone did suggest that I use this as a cream blush, which I thought was a really good idea. But I just haven't reached for it. Um, so yeah, I totally failed on this one. My goal was to use it 10 times and I used it once. So <laughs> that's going to go back in my collection. Who knows, if I get the Joker, I'm, I considered rolling that specific item back in because obviously I'm never going to pan that since I can't even reach for it 10 times. And it's a red, very emollient lipstick. So yeah. We'll see. Um, the next product, something I have reached my goal on, is 
for the prompt glowy i rolled in my vdl lumi layer primer fresh so as you can see i have finally used enough that it's below the vdl which is good um i've actually used this i stopped counting after i used it 10 times but i've probably used this 15 or 20 times even because i just use this as my everyday primer um, I really like it. It does have an expiry date and it has long <laughs> been expired but there's no SPF or anything in this so I'm not even sure why there's an expiry date. There's nothing wrong with it. It hasn't changed color or smell so I'm keeping it around um, but I am ready to put it back because I've used a lot of it. I know it doesn't really seem like it. <laughs> But like I said, so this is the product I was mixing with my Drunk Elephant. So when I was mixing the two, I only used one pump of this. But if I was using this alone, I used two pumps. But that's why like I maybe haven't used as much as I could have. But that will go back in my collection because if you saw, I'm not sure what video is going up first. But I'm doing another project pen and I have two primers in that project so I don't need to keep this one around in this project. Anyway, it's we're redoing everything so I have to keep that in mind. Um, the next category was glittery. I guess I chose this myself because I want to use these up. The Touch and Soul Metalist um, Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo in the shade Margaret. Um, I have five of these and I've mentioned this before. They're getting very dry. Like this is what the metal part looks like. Very like dry. And the glitter side is a lot, is um, hasn't changed as much because it is like a loose flaky glitter. So that's fine, but definitely this side is expired. But I did use this four times. No, I used it three times. I wanted to use it ten, but I only got three uses out of this, unfortunately. But I'm going to put it back. Um, if I get some kind of glittery prompt or something, I will probably reach for another one of these because I want to at least use them you know until they're all super dry and i just have to throw them out because these were not cheap i remember when i bought this set i think it was 50 dollars, and that was like on sale i don't remember maybe it was 50 dollars and then on sale either way i didn't get my money's worth out of these so that's that on that my battery is about to die okay next product. Oh, I met my goal in this as well. I left it in the bathroom. <laughs> it's uh, my Garnier Lavendin Oil. It's a face oil that I use as my as the last step of my skincare routine. I had a goal to use it 10 times, but I it was, you know, easy to just add it to my routine. And I need a face oil in the winter anyway, because my skin's like very very dry so I definitely I stopped counting after 10 times I don't even know how many times I've used it but it's almost every night so it's a lot and let me go get it so you can see by the way I rolled this in for the prompt skincare I don't think I mentioned that so let me just make sure I've got everything out of the dropper but that's what it's looking like. So probably it was more like up here when I rolled it in. There was already some use on it because I got this from Influencer and I had to write a review. So I did use it enough times to write a, to have a review to write on it. So yeah, I really like this. I'm just going to keep it in my, it's in my, um, medicine cabinet in the bathroom so i'm just gonna put it back there and keep using it because i don't know i need to be using a face oil <laughs> actually i should check if i have any face oils that are older than this and use 
that instead. But off the top of my head, I can't think of one right now. But anyway, I'm going to keep using a face oil, whichever one it is. Then for foundation, so honestly, I kind of forgot about this one. I thought it was in my Shop My Stash, not in my deck panning. But it's my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So this one here, this is... This was in my Shop My Stash. I love this foundation, honestly. It might be my favorite foundation in my collection, which is saying a lot because it's also the cheapest. <laughs> I have foundations that are like almost $60 and yet this one is best. This is like, I don't know, a five or $6 foundation, at least in the US. I'm not sure how much this is if it's even available in Canada. I don't remember where I got this, but I have the shade Soft Ivory. It is a little light for me. If I ever used this up and had to repurchase it, I would get maybe a shade up from this one. But like I said, I love this foundation. I used it three times, but I had used it more before I rolled it into this project, but I can put this back in my collection. Then for pick your space, so I rolled a prompt pick your space and then I picked bronzer probably because I wasn't working on any other bronzers and I ended up getting the L'Oreal Infallible um, what's this called? Fresh Wear Bronzer Soft Matte Finish. This was brand new when I rolled it into this project. I was saving it to try in a drugstore video but it got pulled into the deck of panning and I have reached my goal on this. I've actually surpassed my goal. Again, it's one of those ones where I met the 10 use goal and then I just stopped counting it. But since I left it in my everyday makeup drawer, I just kept using it whenever I did my makeup. Um, and I really like it. So it looks, it looks like this. You saw it in my drugstore try on haul video and yeah, I'm just very happy with this bronzer. I like the shade of it. I like how it blends. I have no complaints. So yeah, it's time to put this one away. And then the last product was for the prompt Project Graveyard, which means you work on a project, no, you work on a product that was in a previous project. So I chose my Hourglass Mood Exposure blush and I surpassed my goal. I maybe even use this 20 or more times. But my goal was just to use it 10, but it's such an easy blush to use. This is just a mini, of course, but this is the shade. It's beautiful. It's a marbled shade, so when you mix it together, it has like a really nice mauve rose tone that's super easy to wear because it goes with everything. So I'm loving this. I don't know if you can see, but I almost flattened out the pan. So if you're familiar with the hourglass pans, they're kind of domed and this one's almost flat. So I have been using this a ton. I'm a little concerned because if you can see, yes, that speck is actually a hole <laughs> in the product and it looks like it's hollow inside so that kind of worries me and makes me think if I keep using this that it will crumble because that happened with a Becca highlighter that I have also a mini so I don't know what that means but there's a hole in this now <laughs> but I'm gonna put it back in my collection because I have other blushes to work on and maybe I'll roll in another one who knows but that was everything for the products I was working on last year. So now the fun part where we can start anew and I'll pull up the game board on my computer here. It will be linked below also. And yeah, we'll pull the prompts. Okay, so I have my cards here. Yes, these are Dragon Ball Z cards. I, I don't know, they're not mine, but these have to be the cards now. I can't go back to regular cards after Dragon Ball Z cards. But anyway, 
there were two jokers in the deck show you proof here so I took one of the jokers out because you only need to have one and if you roll the joker it's the prompt are you joking which means you have to work on a product that you would never have chosen otherwise so something that's very difficult to pan like I said before a red lipstick particularly this formula for me I don't know anything that you would never consider panning if you didn't get the joker basically um yeah so i have the game board pulled up the the red cards and the black the red face cards and the black face cards i believe always stay the same throughout the year right but then the numbered cards they get shuffled around randomly every month so obviously i have the game board pulled up for january and we're just gonna get started. So I usually just pick from the top and I'm gonna pick um, five cards. If I get the add another product card, then I have to add another product. So the first one, I'm scared. <laughs> Three of hearts. If you can see that. I don't know, it's not wanting to focus. Anyway, yes, three of hearts. The sun is quickly going down. Three of hearts is this time last year. I love that prompt. So that is a prompt where you work on a product that you purchased this time last year. At least that's how I interpret it. And what I normally do with that is I just go on my Sephora order history and I look for a product and that's what I'm going to do. So I'll put that aside. That is fun. Next. King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds is affordable. So I just watched Emily's video and she explained that there's no like real definition of this affordable prompt. It's whatever is affordable to you. In my case, sometimes even drugstore products, I don't find them affordable because I live in Canada and they're like very overpriced in my opinion. <laughs> but let me keep that aside. For affordable, I'm thinking Elf, um, Wet n Wild, that kind of thing. So yes, I'll have to think on that. Next one. What is that? Oh, two of clubs. Yes, two of clubs. The two of clubs is random uses. Okay, I have to check the description of that. I'm pretty sure it's just you pick anything and then use it a random number of times. Let me see. So on the game board, there is a prompts tab where it's, there's more details. I know some people don't know that. So yeah, just check the prompts tab if you need more explanation. So it says for random uses, choose a product, randomize a number one to five. One equals 10 uses, two equals 20 uses. Oh, okay. That's going to be <laughs> difficult because I have no guidance of what product to choose, but I'll think strategically on that one. So two more cards, three of spades. The three of spades is a spray. Okay, that's great. I'm already working on two setting sprays, but I think a spray can be any kind of spray. So like a hairspray, um, a toner that's in a spray bottle, a body spray. Okay, that could be good. And the last one, two of hearts. The two of hearts is indie. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so a product from an indie brand. Okay, so I'm going to pick those products and I will be back. To show you what they are okay I am back with my products 
Um, it actually took a little longer than I thought. It's totally dark out now, but it looks like my lights are all right, I suppose. Um, so the first card I picked, Three of Hearts, was this time last year. It is January 14th as I'm filming this. And I went on the Sephora app to see my previous orders from last January, and there was none. <laughs> my last order was December 29th, and then I didn't buy anything again until March. So that was a pretty good stretch. But anyway, um, on December 29th, I purchased the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, and I never used this. Um, I actually just pulled this out of my new makeup drawer like a few weeks ago and I was reorganizing and I said I finally just have to put this in my collection even though I have not used it yet and it looks beautiful. So it is actually a um, an eyeshadow palette and it has a blush and a highlighter so this is a great product to bring into a project like this because I can use um, anything in here that I want if I only want to use the eyeshadows for one day I can do that if I just want to reach for the blush and so on so I am actually very excited about this I'm very excited to use the eyeshadows specifically because I'm already familiar with well I'm familiar with Natasha Denona eyeshadows and everything but I would really like to use these particular ones because I've heard great things about these shimmers specifically and I'm just very excited about this so I think I'm going to say I need to use this I'm gonna stick to 10 times I thought about 15 but this is not something I will use on an everyday I'm not sure. Well, these shadows are pretty, you know, neutral. Let's just say 10. <laughs> 10 uses and we'll see how it goes. But yes, very excited about this one. For the King of Diamonds, that was for affordable. I thought about this strategically because, um, like I said, I'm working on that other project pen, which will be like a year-long rolling style project. And I only pulled one concealer into that project, and it's a concealer that I don't use under my eyes. So I thought, hey, let's pull the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I don't remember liking this very much, to be honest, but I'm going to give it another go. If I don't like it, I'll just pass it on to somebody else but I'm hoping this will work as an under eye concealer. It looks to be a good shade for my under eyes. I don't think I would use this for my face. It's quite light. It's the shade Fair Warm. So we'll see how I get on with this. Let's do a 10 use goal again and see how it goes. But yeah, that's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Then I pulled the Two of Clubs, which was random uses. Okay, this one I thought we should do together. But what I did is I randomly chose a lip product because I'm only working on lip gloss and lip liner right now. So I figured let's pull a different kind of lip product. So I pulled this ABH um, matte lipstick in the shade Kiss. This is just a mini and it looks to be a beautiful nude shade, which should be super easy to use. Um, but now I'll have to see how many uses. So I'll take the suggestion from the prompts tab in the game board, which was you roll a number between 1 and 5, and then 1 is actually 10, and 2 is 20 uses, and so on. So let's pull up the pretty random app and I will say is this going to be realistic because if I get five and I have to use this 50 times that's going to take years <laughs> oh maybe I shouldn't do it like that now that I think about it what if I do let's say 1 to 20 
that makes more sense and like one use is one is one use and 20 is 20 so it could be a maximum of 20 uses for a lipstick which is good so i put the the minimum one and the max 20 and then we'll just roll six so i have to use this lipstick six times that should be easy enough let's do a swatch of this i don't know if i've ever used this on my lips maybe just as a swatch but it's a beautiful pinky nude shade which should be like i said very easy to use and i can use it with the lip glosses in my other project which is good okay that wasn't so bad <laughs> the last card was no not the last one the fourth one was spray so for spray i went and chose a body spray i am working on two fragrances in my other project but none of them are body sprays and so i thought about this strategically again and this is my um sol de janeiro <laughs> i just blanked on the name of this brazilian brazilian crush cherosa 40 black amber plum and vanilla woods body spray and this is how much i have left honestly it's like one or two uses and i was already planning before this project of course to replace this and go back to my bath and body works fr frosted coconut snowball because this is a spray I love to use in the winter, of course. I mean, just the name, Frosted Coconut Snowball. I love coconut scents, and this one is not too coconutty. It's just a really nice... I actually love this. I forgot how much I, <laughs> I liked it. Because I don't wear this in the summer. Um, I tend to put it back in my collection and go for a more summery scent. But I'm very excited to go back to this. I've only used this much so far and it's a huge bottle it's eight fluid ounces compared to three fluid ounces of this one this is actually a travel size there is a bigger size of this um but yeah let's go back to this and i'm gonna use this until the spring so what should i say for a goal i don't think i'll use it up by then Let's say I have to use half of what's left in here. So that would be like around here, like just under the, the writing. So I think I can do that because I use body spray every day, basically. So even when I don't go out of my house, I use body spray because <laughs> I just like it. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Last card was Indie. Um, this one was the one that took me the longest because it's actually kind of difficult to know if a brand is Indie or not. So Indie, if you don't know, means independently owned. And I thought about Half Magic Beauty because I thought it was owned by um, the makeup artist from Euphoria. But she actually worked with another company to create the brand, so then I couldn't pick that. So then I was using my Tiny Decisions app because I can't make decisions without it. <laughs> and I landed on, oh, and I was in sticking to the eyeshadow category because I'm actually only working on a mini palette. And other than that, I'm pretty much open to any eyeshadows because... I'm not going to be continuing the Pan Those Eyeshadows project. So I fell upon this um, Eloise Beauty palette. It's called The Queen. And I did look into this. And this is an independently owned brand as far as I can tell. Um, I even went on their website and read like their um, About Us section. And on the bottom of the website where you see like the legal terms usually, it said Eloise Beauty. So it didn't say like a 
umbrella corporation or anything so I'm going with this this is a palette I got in a BoxyCharm and I haven't used it yet but it looks pretty beautiful I love the shades in here this is like a nice jewel toned colorful palette I would say so I think I'm gonna say I'm not gonna pick a specific shade in the palette because that doesn't work for me. I'm just gonna do, um, let's say I have to use this palette five times. I think that's fair because I also have the eyeshadows in the Natasha Denona palette that I wanna use. So let's do a five use goal on this. I think that's fair and yeah. That's what I'm doing. So that is everything for my finale and intro to Deck of Panning for 2023. Um, yeah, like I said, all the details are going to be below if you're still like, what are you talking about? Just go <laughs> to Emily's video. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Let me know if you're doing this project also. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!